If position traders want to manage their risk at proper entry points and have a clearly defined level at which to sell, the 10-week moving average can be a great tool for your portfolio management toolbox. Whenever you're assessing stocks to buy, you should always have your exit strategy in place at the time that you're making that initial purchase. As a general rule, you want to make sure you're limiting your losses so you don't sink your entire portfolio on one trade. Holding and hoping for the best and freezing up if the trade starts to head south is not a sound strategy. Now, pullbacks to the 10-week line early in a leading stocks run can be logical areas to not only add to an existing position, but to initiate a new one. That's because many top stocks will find support at this level and stay above it as they make their big moves, making it a compelling entry point and a great guide for when to get out of the trade when the stock eventually breaks support at that level. So when using the 10-week line to calculate the size of a position, First, seek out stocks that meet IBD's fundamental and technical screening criteria and are within 10% above the 10-week line. And the closer to that level it is as the stock is moving higher, the better. Now, you also need to have a set amount you're willing to risk for each trade you make. Let's say that's 1% of your portfolio per trade. Sounds pretty reasonable, right? So for a $100,000 portfolio, that works out to $1,000 of portfolio risk for each trade. Okay, so let's say you've identified a strong stock that typically gets support at its 10-week moving average, and the proper entry point is 10% above the 10-week line. In this case, risking that $1,000 would lead to a position size of $10,000, or 10% of your portfolio. We get that 10,000 number by dividing the $1,000 you want to risk by 0.1, or the 10% decline you'd be willing to hold the stock through for it to come down to its 10-week line. In that case, risking 10% on the trade, rather than 7 to 8%, that stop loss that IBD typically recommends, might be beneficial. That's because if you sell when you're down 8% and the stock goes down another 2% but finds support at its 10-week line, you would have been shaken out of the trade while the stock moves higher without you. And now this is exactly what happened with Taiwan Semiconductor back in September 2020. The stock broke out of a flat base and was within 10% of the 10-week line as it was clearing the buy point. And you could have even used an earlier entry here to get a better price. While the breakout was bullish and accompanied by heavy volume, the stock quickly pulled back. It fell 7% below the traditional buy point and closed slightly below its 50-day line. And that's the 10-week line's cousin. But by the end of the week, the stock was able to find support at the 10-week line and bounce higher, preventing those who were using the 10-week rule from getting shaken out as the stock was just trying to rev up. Now, let's talk about using the 10-week line as a signal to get out of a stock after it makes a big move. IBD's research shows that once a leading stock has a decisive break of the 10-week line, that means the stock's move may be over or at the very least, it may be entering a base building period, which means you're probably better off putting your money to work elsewhere while the stock consolidates. At the time of the decisive break of the 10-week line, you don't know how much more the stock will fall or how long it will take for it to get back above the 10-week line and start to trend higher. Now we consider a decisive break of the 10-week line to be a close below that level of 2% or more on a weekly basis. So if your stock edges below the 10-week line early in the week, you can wait until close to Friday's close to see if the stock managed to find support there by the end of the week, or if need be, to make your final sell if the stock does have a decisive break. So let's take a look at this concept in action using Taiwan Semiconductor once again. Now, those who purchased Taiwan Semi at that September breakout could have used this 10-week line to keep them in the stock for a gain as big as 70% by February 2021. But then in early March, as many tech stocks took big hits, Taiwan Semi closed 3.6% below the 10-week line, and it has yet to move higher. Another example, Tesla. The electric car maker was no doubt one of the hottest stocks in 2020, but in late February of 2021, Tesla had a sharp break of its 10-week line. That was a clear sell signal for many long-term shareholders that it was time for Tesla to take a break after its huge run. So there you have it, the 10-week line. Great for position sizing to manage risk and a support level that can act as a key sell signal for a winning stock after a big run.
Hi there. Thanks so much for watching Investing Strategies on our YouTube channel. If you want more executive interviews and analysis of key trends to watch, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date.